Hi guys and welcome to How's It Rate. Today uh, we're going to take a look at a Hungry Man boneless fried chicken. Looks pretty good. Looks like it's going to be a real treat here. Tender white chicken patties with home style mashed potatoes and sweet corn. Includes a chocolate brownie. Always like that little brownie. Now uh, this meal is uh, 16 ounces and it's one serving. Picked it up at guess where? Wally World. $2.48. I mean, you can't go wrong for $2.48. Hungry Man is uh, one of the better meals, I think. Uh, it, uh, it's usually pretty consistent and, you know, uh, pretty tasty. So let's see what kind of ingredients we've got in here. We've got fried chicken patties. Okay, that's a good start because that's what the meal is. Cooked white meat, chicken, water, and rich flour, and, uh, you know, goes on and on with all those words that are too tough to pronounce. Uh, we've got mashed potatoes, reconstituted potatoes, that's okay with me. And uh, margarine, partially hydrogenated, this, that, and the other. And then it goes on, and we've got corn, uh, not a problem there. And brownie, uh, maybe sugar, and rich flour, wheat. So a lot of uh, familiar things in there. I can live with that. And, you know, there's a paragraph about that long, and um, we don't want to go through all of those food colorings and everything else. So what kind of nutrition can we expect from this? As I said, this is a one serving size and uh, our ca calories for this thing are 810 and of that, uh, calories from fat are 340. Uh, the total fat is 38 grams at 58% 50 per of your total allowable intake for a normal person. Uh, your saturated fat is 12 grams at 60%, cholesterol 85 milligrams at 28%, and sodium 1,180 milligrams at 49%. Total carbohydrates 87 grams, 29%, dietary fiber 7 grams, 28%, sugars 22 grams, and protein at 34 grams, and then it goes on to list some of the vitamins and minerals that are in here. Off the bat, uh, looks like a pretty good meal, definitely got some bulk to it. And let's see what we've got here for cooking instructions. Uh, this time they seem to mention the conventional oven uh, first. And there's a bunch of warnings on the side which have to do with the internal temperature being 160 degrees Fahrenheit as measured with a thermometer. They go through that all the time on all the frozen foods if you've noticed. But in a conventional oven we'd be preheating it to 350 degrees. We'd be removing the film from the uh, chicken, potatoes, and brownie and cut a, slip, a slit over the film in the corn. Did I say that right? Cut a slit? Uh, place the tray on a baking sheet on the middle of the oven rack, cook for 45, five minutes, 45 to 50 minutes. That's a lot of time. Uh, we're not going to do this in a conventional oven, but I think I know why they want that cookie sheet in there, because if you don't put it in there and the stuff boil over, it makes a mess out of your oven. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> for a microwave oven, Again, they list the fact that the 1,100 watt oven. Uh, remove the film from the brownie, cut the slit in the film or <coughs> over each remaining uh, item. Microwave on high for four and a half minutes. Carefully remove brownie with a fork, set aside, turn back the film, rearrange the chicken and stir the potatoes, replace the film, return to tray to microwave, return the tray to the microwave oven. Microwave on high for two minutes and let stand for one minute in the microwave oven and stir the potatoes. A little more work than I want to do, but hey, what are you going to do? So, we're going to give this thing a try. Let's take a look at it. Pull it out of this little box. We're going to try and pull it out of this little box. Ah, there we are. Doesn't look too awful bad. Got the corn over here, got our brownie, and our uh, two chicken patties, and some potatoes. Nice, nice healthy amount of potatoes. The chicken patties look pretty good. And it's in one of those car car um, compartmentalized plates. I'm getting there. I'm getting better with that compartmentalized. Uh, so uh, we're going to do what it said. We're going to cut the, uh, the, uh, the slit the... the we're going to put a slit over the corn and over the chicken, and we're going to remove the film over the brownie and pop it in the microwave. So, we'll see you soon. Alrighty, we're back from our first round of microwaving, and it's time to remove the brownie. Let's see how that goes. Looks pretty good. I was watching it cook in there. 
and it was all mushy and bubbly. Uh oh, it's falling apart, but not too bad. We got most of it on one scoop, and we got the rest of it a little bit stuck to the fork. Can't waste it. Mmm, not too bad. We'll be right back. Just going to pop this in for the remaining time and we'll chow down. Hi folks, we're back from our final uh, round of uh, radar range cooking and uh, we're ready to give this thing a try. So, what am, I, what am I expecting out of this meal? Well, I'm expecting it to be um, fairly good for the price, or very good for the price that we paid, two forty-eight. Hungry Man uh, advertises their uh, meals quite heavily and uh, they make a lot of claims of how good they are. So let's see if they're telling the truth, and uh, which I'm sure they are. You know, I mean, what can you expect for a frozen meal? So let's dig into the corn first and see how they did on that. Mmm. It's very hot. And um, I noticed that these kernels of corn are smaller than the ones I normally see in the frozen dinners. Um, therefore, they are also more tender. They are sweet, but not as sweet as I would like it, but they're, they're, it is sweet. And it does have some seasoning, um, barely discernible, but there is some seasoning there. It's like a, maybe a little butter flavor. So here's our two chicken patties and our mashed potatoes. And uh, we're going to try the potatoes first. Let me re remove them around a little bit. As usual, potatoes are lacking. Um, they're just, it's just, I guess, impossible to get a, a really good mashed potato in a, in a frozen meal. But, they're not terrible. They're, they're, they're okay. The chicken patties look great. Let me see how they taste. Well, on observing the chicken, when I cut it, it actually looks like chicken. I believe these might be actually little little uh, little chicken patties that are not too reconstituted, if they're reconstituted at all. Mmm. <coughs> the chicken is moist. Tastes and has the texture of real chicken. I have to compliment that on, uh, them on that. It's got a good tooth to it. The crust is actually quite flavorful. I'm going to take one more bite. And yes, the uh, the chicken looks to be a real piece of chicken that hasn't been re reconstituted. Um, if it has, they did a very, very good job at it. Very moist and very flavorful. Very good job. So, I'm going to give the corn like a, a four, uh, the potatoes about a four, and the, uh, the chicken I'm going to give a five. It's definitely um, very good. So, five stars on the chicken, that's my highest rating. So, for the whole meal, haven't tasted the brownie yet. Well, I did, but that was before. I'm going to give that a little taste. Okay. It's on the verge of being dry, but it's not dry. So I can't fault them at that. It has a nice chocolatey flavor to it. 
Um, like I said, it's on the verge of being dry, but that may be my microwave. I don't know. I'm going to give the brownie a four and a half also. So I would say that this whole meal, take everything into consideration, the price, the fact that it's very easy to prepare, uh, and the flavor, uh, the, the overall quality, I'm going to give it a four and a half for the whole meal. Maybe even on the verge of four and three quarter. Four and a half, four and three quarter. Going once, going twice, let's give it four and three quarter. And that's it, folks. I recommend this meal for the price. It's excellent.